we will see today how to deploy your database in order to use it uh, in production so first of all go to the railway website uh, and uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and hit deploy the new project for this video we uh, we will not create an account if you want you can go ahead and create an account but let's go and uh, deploy a new project and we will select uh, to deploy uh, mysql database and the database will be initialized for us and after that we can uh, use it uh, in a production so you will see the word this warning don't worry uh, that is because i haven't created an account uh, because uh, it's uh, just for demo you can go ahead and claim it or you can create an account before deploying your database so the database is initialized uh, we can go here in the variables section You will see multiple variables here, and uh, yeah, the most important that will be used is the public uh, URL. But first of all, let's uh, uh, modify the database because we have a, a default database name, a railway, so we can modify it like we want. Demo DB and uh, save it after modifying we will redeploy the database because it has been changed so we can see here it's deploying we can go here to see the process of deploying deployment so now it has been redeployed so we can Go ahead and uh, see the URL. Yeah, that is the URL. We must copy it. And uh, I'm going to open a text editor and paste it. So let's pass it here. So the URL is composed of the user. Root is the user, followed by the password here. And after that, we have the a host name and the port and the database name so we are going to go to workbench if you don't have that you can go ahead and download it uh, first of all here we have a plus sign here we will hit it and you will see that context uh, window we will uh, uh, use it to connect our database so first that is the database name you copy it and paste it here connection name and uh, next uh, uh, we will see the the port sorry and here is the host name That is the password. And go here and paste it. The username is still root, so let's uh, test the connection. So continue anyway, it's not a problem. And uh, the connection has been uh, successfully, yeah. So let's hit OK. We have our connection here, so we can go ahead and click on it. Continue anyway. Okay, here you have the interface, you have the schema, you have the administration section and the schema. 
here that is the default schema uh, lil weight and we have the tables views start put procedures functions they are empty uh, for now so we can go ahead and import uh, an existing database yeah here you can import a folder containing sql files or you can select uh, that one to import a sql an sql file containing uh, the database the script of the database so for now we will go to uh, my admin We, we will uh, import the database. I have a demo database uh, that have only one table, users, and uh, some entries here. And I'm going to database and export my database. Export it. And export yeah. it has been exported so let's come back to workbench and uh, yeah here we will select the file that has been downloaded so here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, select the schema we should select the schema because if you don't do so, there will be an error. Start import. Yeah, we have imported. It's uh, yeah, it's has successfully imported. So let's come back to the schema. You will see in the railway. Uh, let's refresh it let's refresh it yeah here you will see the table users see this the table users will uh, yeah that have uh, this, the entry so it has been uh, successfully imported so let's come back to railway yeah to the data section So it's taking a uh, lot of time, but if uh, your connection is good and uh, everything is done, is, is correctly done, you will see your tables here. You will see your tables here. So you can use the database to, in your project. Um, remember something, I'm going to the variables section. You, you can use that one in your project in order to connect your database, but those variables are, uh, are internal, internal variables. That means that uh, if you have deployed another application on railway, you can use those variables. But if you haven't deployed a, a, an application in railway, you should use the public the public, um, uh, let's say, uh, URL or uh, the public URL, yes, that contains the information you want. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we will see uh, in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Thank you.